Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Lightning Treasures and Curiosities. And guess what? It is movie review time. Yes, as you know, I have acquired a massive collection of movies, which I am selling. And the beautiful thing about this is my husband has a new rule for me. Every night, I must pick one movie for us to just sit down, have dinner, unwind, and watch. He wants me to get away from work and all the stress and strain of having to deal with all this. And what better way to do it than the two of us to just sit on the couch and enjoy a good movie. Now, I have to admit, both of our movie tastes are completely different. So to try to find something that both of us will be interested in can be somewhat of a challenge. I have to say last night's movie was awesome. Um... But there's a disappointing part to it. And you know what the disappointing part is? I have no idea what happened at the end. We are having trouble with our Xbox where for some reason, and this happened with the last few movies, which I didn't care because I didn't care about the ending, but it stops at a certain point in the movie and won't play the movie. It has nothing to do with the disc itself. It is the Xbox machine. So I told him, hopefully, because I do have a DVD player, I'm like, can you just hook up the DVD player and let's just watch regular movie, like, through the DVD instead of through the Xbox. We're going to see if he does that. He's off tomorrow, so we'll see if I can get him to do that. But the movie in review I want to talk about, because, whoo, I had to say this was a good one. The movie is called Backtrack. And what really, when I was looking through, what got me was the fact that there was an all-star cast. I mean, this was a movie from 1990, so a lot of these stars were either just starting out or not necessarily, but all-star cast. Look at this cast. We have Jodie Foster, Dennis Hopper, Joe Pesci, Dean Stockwell, Fred Ward, Charlie Sheen, Vincent Price. Um, there was also John Turturro, and there was a couple other faces. It's one of those things. It's like, I know that actor. I know that actor sort of thing. But, um, oh, also Bob Dylan was in it. I don't remember seeing Bob Dylan in this. So maybe he came out at the end. I got to look for Bob Dylan. But anyway, so how to explain this movie? And that's why I think you'll know why I love this. First off, it starts off like Italian mobster type movie. I mean, you got Joe Pesci cursing out his little, and anyway, Joe Pesci ends up murdering, um, one of the mobsters, and of course, Jodie Foster, innocent bystanders, witnesses it. So now the mob is after her. What they do is they send Dennis Hopper after her to kill her. Problem is, in his psychopath, like, because Dennis Hopper is like one of those crazy actors, problem is he gets so obsessed with her that he starts falling in love with her. And the movie would have been just a normal, like, send the mafia out, hit man to kill the woman, and of course she's running away. It would have been like that, but here's where the twist comes. And that's why I'm like, this movie was like, ah. Oh. The twist is, he has the gun, he's in her apartment, he's going in there to kill her, but what does he decide to do? He takes the handcuffs, handcuffs her while she's in bed, takes a scarf, wraps it around her neck to choke her, with the gun to her head and is basically like, you have a choice. Either I kill you now because that's what I'm here for or you become mine. Oh my God. Yes. He decides to basically make her a slave. I mean, he, and it turns into, the rest of the movie turns into a weird Stockholm syndrome where... I guess she's falling in love with him or she's pretending. I don't know because the ending can go either one of two ways. Either he's going to get killed and she runs away or it's going to be that weird Stockholm syndrome where the two of them end up going off into the distance happily ever after. Um, I'm having a feeling that he's going to get killed and she's, but oh my God, how hot was that? And the reason he did that had to do with a fantasy because he was going through her fantasy books, looking at her uh, naughty pictures and stuff like that. And one of her fantasies was the dark man who would just take her. And, oh. So I highly recommend it. I mean, like I said, I love Joe Pesci. 
you know who he is from Lethal Weapon, My Cousin Vinny. You love Joe Pesci. Dean Stockwell, he's somebody that is, well, he was big in the past. Dean Stockwell was from Quantum Leap, from Married to the Mob. I love Dean Stockwell. Uh, of course, Dennis Hopper, weird movies, and of course, Jodie Foster. And you get to see a nude scene with Jodie. So, you get to see, yeah, a little, little... So, if you're looking for a good movie, the movie is called Backtrack. It's an old movie, 1990, 102 minutes long. It is for sale if anybody's interested in purchasing. But I have to say, this, this was a good movie. In fact, I think I'm going to keep this copy for myself. But um, I just want to say, every night, you know what happens. It's a movie night. So now tonight, i got to pick out another movie. But um, i got to keep my fingers crossed because you know what's going to happen? It might not be movie night for the next couple of nights because starting tomorrow... Lucifer final season. And you know what happens? Lucifer is now twins because his brother Michael is coming down, who is the twin brother of Lucifer. So we are going to have two hot, delicious Tom Ellis characters running around the show. Well, until next time, this is Melanie with Light Beam Treasures and Curiosities bringing you another movie review. Take care.